Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the stream. It's Ray with Curated Computing. Today we've got a couple of really important mining software updates, uh, especially this time of year where it's getting really hot out. Um, these are going to help you decrease your power consumption, which means they're going to give off less heat. Um, so really cool updates. Uh, the first one is for all you AMD people out there. Um, I've got quite a few 5700 XTs and 5600 XTs. So uh, this one has really helped me out too. Um, so we're on GitHub on the Team Red Miner uh, beta. So a couple of changes in here. We have smoother power transitions. And then we also have our mode, um, which really saves a ton of power. And uh, it says here the biggest winners are 5700 XT, 5700, and 5600 XT. Um, so simple instructions for this. Um, I'm going to leave a link uh, in the chat and in the description too, uh, so you guys can find this. Um, but basically, I will walk you through how to do this upgrade on HiveOS. Uh, there are links here if you are on Windows. I'm not going to cover that, but you can follow the instructions here. Uh, so the first step uh, here is going to your flight sheet. And then you will hit the menu and then edit. And then you'll click on the miner right here and then show all and then you'll search for custom so you'll click on that and then you'll do setup minor config and then you'll take all the information from the github right here and then you'll paste it in so you'll paste in your installation url uh, you'll leave this to the default template right here based on your rig you'll plug in your mining pool url and then you'll enter this config argument for our mode Hit apply changes and then push your flight sheet right here. Um, and then you'll see I have mostly 5700 XTs. Uh, most of mine are Micron. I do have a few Samsung thrown in there as well. Uh, so you'll see, uh, let's see here. We've got pretty improved efficiency. This one's getting 95 watts, 53.5 mega hash. These are all BIOS modded too, by the way. Um, but yeah, there's several cards at or under 100 watts, like all of these right here. So that's really amazing efficiency. I was able to come up with some rough tunes for these already. So I'll leave these on screen for a second. Um, so for anything with Micron, I've done 1200 core, 750 core voltage, 750 mem controller voltage 885 memory clock this hasn't changed since before the update everything else i was able to lower quite a bit uh the memory voltage 1300 so that is for micron take you over to my samsung ones and what i found to be stable i noticed uh samsung memory obviously is better for efficiency um i'm getting 78 watts on this one 72 on this one about 53 and a half uh, mega hash on these so really nice um, Show you the tune for this one. We we're able to lower the core clock to 1000 core voltage 640 mem controller voltage 725 Memory clock the same at 885 and then memory voltage at 1250 so uh, We did see big decreases in power consumption. I probably saved two to three hundred watts on a 12x rig here so uh really nice efficiency there so uh hopefully that helps all you amd guys out um i've got several rigs kind of running this right now so you can see but yeah even a micron 5700 xt is down to 100 watts so very very nice performance here um but yeah let me know in the comments uh if this works for you i it should work for you um and how much power you saved um so with that out of the way um we've also got a new update for both nb minor and t-rex uh, personally i'm just running nb minor right now um and hive servers have slowed down quite a bit so what i actually did uh was download uh the latest hive build from their site it took about eight hours and then i uploaded it uh to google drive so i could share it with people 
uh, and then I just manually flashed the drive in Windows with Belina Etcher. And then I ran a command um, right here to download uh, the latest NB Miner, or it was the latest at the time. I'll put this in the chat too, but you can run this command uh, through the Hive Worker command, get the latest NB Miner release, and then you can also manually run a command to get the NVIDIA drivers, but you'll probably want to do it from like GitHub or something because Hive servers are really slow. So that's a couple of prerequisites. You do need to be on the latest NVIDIA driver or second to latest. I'm on 510.60.02. Um, and once you do that, then you can install the latest NB miner package. Uh, if Hive servers gets better, you can just upgrade it right here toggle these two things on and uh, upgrade that way. But the biggest gain we saw was in the 3080 TIs. These went from about 92 to 96 mega hash for me, uh, all the way up to 120 mega hash. So really nice performance here. And then my 3060s went from about 36 up to 48. So uh, very nice, very nice, uh, well, not really efficiency on these, but well, kind of, um, but mostly just mega hash increase. Let's go to another rig here. I think I had one more on here. Um, yeah, so this has got, uh, this is a LHR 3080, went from 75 up to 97. Uh, so very nice there. And then all the 3060s went from 36 back up to 45. So I think I had about 10 3060s. So I was able to gather another 100 mega hash right there. I don't know if these power consumption tables are accurate. Uh, I think a little more testing will be needed. But um, so far looking really good. I think this one I've got an LHR 3060 uh, TI. Looks like this one just rebooted. Um, I want to say it was pushing about 60 mega hash though. Uh, so really good there. Um, let's see. I think I've got, yeah, this one just rebooted. It's getting rather, rather hot. I think that's why I might have to put on another cooling fan, uh, in my setup, but let's see here. Yeah, this should should start getting a little more mega hash. Um, we'll come back to this 3060 Ti in a while. But yeah, it was pretty much rivaling um, the, the non-LHR one. Like It's already up to 53. I think I was getting about 59 though. Um, so this this card right here is, is LHR. Um, and I'll take over to one that's not LHR that you can see. I think it's on this rig. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so this is a non LHR 3060 Ti getting 60.2. And then this new one, let's see here. Yeah, so and this is an LHR card. So essentially, the LHR 3060 Ti is the same as the non LHR one. So Pretty amazing uh, when shopping for mining cards may not even matter. Um, LHR, I think the full hash rate cards are kind of going to level out in price uh, based on that data. So um, definitely some good things to think of. Now the ROI on these with current difficulty, still not amazing. I, th I ran the numbers at 19 cent power. The 3080 Ti is still about 460 day ROI. So it's not amazing, but if you already have a farm or you're already sitting on a lot of LHR GPUs, I would highly recommend uh, upgrading to NB miner. And then also if you're sitting on a fair amount of uh, AMD cards like I am, I would definitely recommend uh, doing this team red miner update so uh, i hope this video helped you guys uh get set up um as as far as updating your mining software if you run into any issues leave a comment down below and i will do my best uh to help you guys out um so i hope you enjoyed the video and uh stay tuned